So we have go through standard input and standard output. Standard input is your keyboard. Standard output is your is your mod, is your console. But this pretty much lives in the mainframe age, when the only interaction between a user and a, as a computer is you type something in a, from a terminal window. Modern day applications need to have a user interface, a graphic user interface, where you have more components that you can utilize. And the most useful one is a dialog box. A dialog box is a small graphical window that displays a message to the user or requests input. A variety of Java of dialog boxes can be displayed using the J option pane class. Two of the dialog boxes are message dialog. It's a dialog box that displays a message and input dialog, a dialog box that prompts the user for input. The J option pane class is not automatically available to your Java program. The following statement must be used before the program's Java header. You import, import javax swing.jopjoption pane. This statement tells the compiler where to find the jopjoption pane class. And once you have this class re ready, you can generate these two methods, these two types of dialog boxes. A message dialog box. Here, jopjoption pane does show message dialog is used to display a message dialog. The first argument will be discussed later. And the second argument is a message that is to be displayed. Like here, it's hello world. An input, an input dialog is a quick and simple way to ask the user to enter data. The dialog display a text field, an OK button, and a cancel button. If OK is pressed, the dialog returns the user's input. If cancel is pressed, the dialog returns now. An example is like this. You have a string name, name equal, uh, equals to option pane dot show input dialog with a message, enter your name. The argument passed to the method is the message to display. If the user clicks on OK, name will reference to the string entered by the user. If the user click on the cancel button, name will refer to a now. Note here, the program that uses Java Pane does not automatically stop executing when the end of the main method is reached because Java Option Pane, J Option Pane by itself is another thread of the program. So as long as you don't click, uh, close this J Option Pane, the system still runs the program. Java generates a thread which is a process running in the computer when the J option pane is created. You need to call the system.exit method in order to close all the threads of the program. The system exit method requires an integer argument. This argument is an exit code that is passed back to the operating system. And this code is usually ignored this actually, it comes from the old days of C programming in Unix, where each program must return a code to indicate whether it's successful or not. So these days, because we are mostly using graphic user interface, it's not as important as it was. However, its skill can be used outside the program to indicate whether the program ended successfully or not. And the value zero traditionally indicates that the program ended successfully. The J option pane show input dialog method always returns the user's input as a string. And uh, this string may contain a number. So you, but you need to specifically convert it to the data type you want. And to do that, you use a parse method of a num numerical wrapper class. A numerical wrapper class will be covered in chapter 10. For now, all you need to know is those classes has methods to convert a string into primitive data type. 
These methods are known as parse methods because their names begin with the word parse. These are some examples like parse by, parse int. For example, parse int of this string will convert this string 2599 into a variable, into an integer variable with a value 2599. And uh, this parse double will convert this string into a double literal 7945.6. Here's an example of how you would read an integer that you will use the Java option pane show input dialog to enter a number. And uh, once you get, once this option pane is finished, you actually get a string containing the input and you will use this integer.parseInt to convert this string into an integer. Similarly, we'll do this for double, double input. Let's look at an example. So here we have the import of Java Swing J option pane. As we start as we start running this program, we will use a Java option pane show input dialog box to get an input from the option pane. And the first one, of course, is a name, so it is a string by default. There's no conversion needed. But next, whenever we use how many hours, when we, whenever we ask how many hours, we, we are expecting an integer. But the input will always be string. So we need to parse it to an integer and so on and so forth for the double of pay rate. So let's run it. Once you start running, you will get this input dialog box. So I just put June. And once I put June, the name variable now contains June. And the second option pane comes up. The second show input dialog box. How many hours do you work? I'll just put 100. And the third one, I'll put 88.8. And eventually, after everything's done, it will give us a show message dialog, which will give us the gross pay, all in a string. Hello, June, your gross pay is 8,880. Okay. And similarly, you will run into error if you do the parse incorrectly. So the name, I just put June again. And how many hours did you work? How about I put DFG, which will definitely give us some error. See here, we got an error message. 